this is an issue of controversy because one school of thought says that we should all celebrate Eid on the same day. Mm -hmm. We should all start fasting on the same day. The whole Ummah is one. But this is not logical mm -hmm. because we have different regions. So even we have different time zones. So if we have people in Australia, for example, and people in Saudi Arabia, they're down under. <laughs> so for maybe they're closer yep. to us than from the east. Logically, each region has its own sighting. And, that is, and, and scholars <laughs> say that it is uh, estimated by 2,226 kilometers. So this is the distance for every region to have. And you cannot unite them. Because, and I'll give you an example. Some people say, no, you have to unite them. If yes. someone sees the, uh, sights the moon in India, the people in Morocco should start fasting. Well, this is not logical because, for example, for Hajj, in Hajj, yeah. if people see the moon of the Hijjah in India and the people do not see it in Saudi Arabia, we follow the sighting of the moon in Saudi Arabia. Which means that if you say, no, we have to, you have to follow me. This means that those who are standing on Mount Arafat on the 9th of the Hijjah, according to the sighting of the moon in Saudi Arabia, they are standing on it on the 8th of the Hijjah, according to the sighting of the people in India. And this could not be. This means that the 3 million people performing Hajj <coughs> are not actually have performed Hajj. And that is why Sheikh Hassan ibn Taymiyyah and the, uh, uh, the major council of, of, of ulama, of scholars, in Saudi Arabia and, and a lot and a lot of scholars throughout the time say every region has to have their own sighting.